Hello everybody, I'm greeting you here from South Africa. I'm living in Nalspreit in Pumalanga. As you can see, a lot of bushes and a lot of nature. That is how I love it. Last week I had the privilege, 5.30 in the morning, to see a complete rainbow. The full complete rainbow. I will share a short video with you because I was so overwhelmed I had to make a video of it too. For those who can remember me of last year, I was the athlete that came with Norman to see what the Bear Job project was all about. And this year Norman is there to represent all of us. He actually approached me um, in 2018, October, I think it was October, November, to be part of the Bear Job project by meaning run as an athlete to raise funds towards the Beja people and projects involved with the S4J. Would you speak? I'm listening. The good news that I have is that last year, this time, I didn't know much about the Beja people and that's the reason why I accompanied them to the conference and where I actually educated myself towards the mission and why they need funds for this project and everything. After the conference, we went all the way to Salatin and I had the privilege to meet the Beja people in person and the reason why I say privilege is last year when I was there at the conference um, some of you were telling that you are like more than 10 years already involved in this project and you never had the privilege to meet one of the Bejas in person and here yeah, God actually sent me on my very first visit all the way there and something amazing that i've experienced was so much love when i arrived there there was just so much love there and i knew that this is the reason why god loved them so much they just they when i arrived there they went up a tree and picked me fruit and i don't, I don't know if norman told you that they even offered camels for me city <laughs> that was quite embarrassing but anyways he just told everyone I'm not for sale I'm not for sale so I'm still laughing about that but also when we were there we went to one of the coffee places where we can have jabana you know the famous jabana so yeah while busy making it one of the boys came in there selling scarves and the tour guide actually chased him away because he was scared that the little boy is bothering us. So when I noticed there's a little bit of conflict, I told the tour guide, what does the boy want? And he said, no, he wants to sell his stuff, but he asked him to leave. So I said, no, call the boy. And I bought one of his scarves and all of a sudden he took us through the whole town there in Although we didn't understand much, the tour guy was like translating and we actually had a lot of fun with this little boy. He was so interesting. And just before he left, he gave me a pink scarf. And I asked him, so for what is this? And he said, no, this is for you. And you know, it was such a blessing to know that he's also giving me something you know, in return for supporting him and for being, it's apparently the tour guy said it was because I was nice to him. And, you know, that thought will just remain with me the whole time. And I wish I could actually be there this time to just go and see that little boy again. It will be so much fun just to meet with him again. But I know this year is not, it's not my time to be there. But hopefully next year I will have the privilege to accompany Norman again.
as an athlete I was still injured and recovering from my injury at the time when I was at the conference so I still didn't know exactly what God is longing from me and why he actually wants me there while I'm recovering of eight month injury and Seth and Cindy including Norman they were praying for my leg and when I arrived in my hometown I just started with my training without any complications and I did the best comrades time ever I did my PB last year and I managed I, I managed to reach the target for for raising the funds towards the S4J charity and it was just blessing on top of a blessing another weird thing or I will say is a blessing or I don't know how to call it because I'm still like thrown over and overwhelmed of it was Norman sent me a picture of a beja person that that gave him a drawing many moons ago Norman please while you are there just show them the picture and I looked at the picture and I thought yeah maybe because he said like one of his colleagues noticed the picture and he said oh it looks like the girl that went with you last year to Egypt and when I looked at the picture I thought oh no it can't be me maybe it's a Nora or you know I don't know I, I was I wasn't convinced and then one of the people at my work tell me listen here but you are wearing your pink scarf there the one that the little boy gave you and I thought to myself no and this lady was wearing a pink scarf so this picture just stick to me and it stick to me and later on I showed the picture to my husband and my husband said yeah you see there, there's three little cups there Jabuna cups and also that clay pot thing that you actually bought with with the cover of the clay pot for the, you know where they made the coffee and stuff in um, the ja uh, the Jabuna in I bought that in Egypt and I brought it home and it's like still you know on my <laughs> dining room table and so my husband pointed to that and I thought to myself that's really weird it is three little cups and it is it looks like exactly the same shape of the thing that I bought there and I showed my one friend and my friend looked at me and she said the tree there and the little springbok I don't think you get that springbok there I think I think this is you so I was so overwhelmed about this picture and it's still like sticking to me so please Norman share the picture with them so they can see what I'm talking about I just want to tell you that one thing that really touched me here in South Africa the people have all the material and everything they need to be able to believe in God in understandable languages and everything and all the information they can like do research on is not enough for them to be a believer and it was so amazing to see all the effort that you guys put into this to be able to let the Beja people experience the Jesus film and Tonya told me that last week one of the Beja languages was actually translated and um, into this film and I was so overwhelmed and I feel so I, I, I'm just feeling so blessed to know that you know um, there's transformation every time there's transformation and we're going closer and closer and closer towards this Norman also told me that there's another bridge up person that gave his heart to God and that is so so amazing news and just keep on doing what you guys are doing and I pray that you will fulfill in your mission I can't wait to hear the good news from all of you I just want to say thank you for the opportunity to be part of it I think I think this is just quite amazing. I you are <laughs> 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 
this is Boomy. 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 She likes all the attention. I've seen that Peter and Sonara have a new princess there. <laughs> when I was there the last time, it was only little David. So congratulations on that too. That's also a blessing. Now you are blessed with a little boy and a girl. I mean, what else do you want? Stay blessed and stay loved and know that God loves you.